How will the convergence of genetic engineering, nanotechnology, and robotics, also known as GNR, lead to a technological revolution that could radically reshape our lives? Robots like this one are catching the attention and billions of investment dollars. Scientists have rejuvenated the skin cells taken from a 53-year-old woman, making them equivalent to those of a 23-year-old. Chinese health major. and ethics officials are investigating a scientist's claim that he helped create the world's first genetically edited babies. This video will explain the concept of the singularity, the law of accelerating returns, and the importance of the year 2045. But first, let's dive a bit deeper into the GNR key technologies which are at the heart of this approaching transformation. Genetic engineering is the process of changing the genetic structure of an organism by either removing or introducing DNA. It has come a long way from its early days of simply modifying crops to increase yields or improve resistance to pests. Now, it's destined to fundamentally change what it means to be human. Instead of just creating bigger tomatoes, scientists can now edit genes to potentially cure diseases like cancer, enhance human physical and cognitive capabilities, and even engineer entirely new species of life. The global genetic engineering market is set to reach $14.6 billion by 2025, proof of how crucial this field has become. The real game changer in this space is CRISPR, a revolutionary gene editing tool discovered in the late 1980s. Since its discovery, scientists have used CRISPR to treat sickle cell anemia, potentially offering a cure for a genetic condition that affects millions of people worldwide. And while this is an amazing leap, we're only scratching the surface of what's possible. In the future, Genetic engineering could allow us to enhance human capabilities in ways we can barely imagine. From boosting intelligence to potentially eliminating and even reversing the aging process itself. Imagine a world where genetic diseases are eradicated and human abilities are upgraded. This could be our reality within the next few decades. And if you thought working on DNA molecules was already small, Nanotechnology manipulates the very fabric of matter itself. It involves working at the atomic and molecular levels, allowing us to engineer materials and devices that are invisible to the naked eye. Nanotechnology has already made huge steps in medicine, where scientists have created nanobots that can travel through the bloodstream, deliver drugs, or repair tissues at the cellular level. And you won't believe the crazy amount of money being invested in nanotech close to $250 billion. It has the potential to revolutionize multiple industries. For example, nanomaterials are being developed that are stronger than steel, but lighter than plastic. These materials could have applications ranging from lightweight, super durable aircrafts to medical implants that integrate seamlessly with the human body. One of the most fascinating uses of nanotechnology is in cancer treatment, where nanobots can be programmed to identify and destroy cancer cells without harming surrounding healthy tissue. This offers hope for more targeted, less invasive treatments in the future. And lastly, the field that keeps inspiring countless best-selling books, binge-worthy TV shows, and Hollywood movies, robotics and AI an industry that is transforming from simple automation into areas that challenge the boundaries of human intelligence. The global robotics market is expected to grow to $190 billion by 2027. But this is more than just specialized factory robots. Artificial intelligence is advancing at a rapid pace with machines that can now learn, create, and make decisions, abilities once thought exclusive to humans. Already, AI systems are beating humans at strategic games like Go and StarCraft, which require planning, adaptability, and high levels of intelligence and decision-making. But there even is a next step that will mark a critical and huge milestone on the road of artificial intelligence. Currently, there are companies working on, at least claiming to be, the development of AGI, Artificial General Intelligence an AI capable of performing any intellectual task a human can. 
We said from the very beginning we are going to go after AGI at a time when in the field you weren't allowed to say that because that just seemed impossibly crazy. A well-known example of this advancement is seen in ChatGPT and similar language models, which have made huge steps in understanding and generating human-like language. While ChatGPT and current AI models are not yet considered true AGI, they represent an essential step forward in AI's evolution. Today, ChatGPT and its peers can engage in deep, meaningful conversations, solve complex problems, generate creative writing, and even assist in tasks ranging from programming to content creation. This proves how AI is closing the gap between narrow, specialized AI and the broader vision of AGI that could one day perform intellectual tasks as well as, or better than, any human. Now, imagine all these three groundbreaking technologies, genetic engineering, nanotechnology, and AI, converging and working together. These fields don't exist in isolation. They feed into each other. The three great overlapping revolutions uh, sometimes goes by the letter GNR. On the biological front, genetic engineering could lead to the creation of new biological components that can be integrated into nanotechnology. Meanwhile, nanotechnology is enabling the creation of artificial skin, which in turn could be used for sensory input for robotics. And AI is already being used to analyze vast amounts of genetic data, discovering patterns that would be impossible for humans to detect. This is the cocktail that futurist Ray Kurzweil believes will lead us to the mysterious singularity, which we'll come back to soon. This synergy creates a feedback loop, where advancements in one field accelerate progress in the others. A concept Kurzweil calls the law of accelerating returns. Essentially, as technology improves, it accelerates the development of other technologies, creating an exponential growth curve that becomes almost unstoppable. It's like a technological snowball, gathering speed and size as it rolls down a hill, possibly accelerating exponentially closer to the year 2045. But what exactly is the singularity? Kurzweil defines this as the moment in time when machine intelligence becomes vastly superior to human intelligence. In this future, the boundaries between humans and machines blur, with individuals being able to upgrade their bodies and minds through technology. We might upload our consciousness to the cloud, granting us near immortality or access to enormous amounts of information instantaneously. Combat training. Jiu-Jitsu. I'm going to learn Jiu-Jitsu. Kurzweil predicts that by 2029, we will have AI systems that pass the Turing test, making them indistinguishable from humans in conversation. By the 2030s, he foresees humans being able to connect their brains directly to the cloud, effectively turning people into cyborgs with access to unlimited computing power. And then there is the year 2045, which we mentioned at the start. This is the future point in time Kurzweil predicts that machine intelligence will be billions of times more powerful than all human minds combined. But how do we reach this level of advancement? According to Kurzweil, the key lies in computational power. Moore's law, which states that the number of transistors on a chip will double roughly every two years, has driven the rapid development of computing for decades. However, Moore's law is expected to hit a physical limit soon, as transistors can't keep shrinking indefinitely. At that point, new technologies like quantum computing could take over, maintaining the exponential growth needed to push us toward the singularity. While the future Kurzweil envisions is filled with possibility, it also raises profound ethical questions. What happens when we begin to edit the human genome? Is it acceptable to eliminate genetic diseases? Most people would agree that curing a life-threatening illness is a positive step. But what about enhancing our own intelligence or physical capabilities? 
Could this lead to a world where only the wealthy can afford such enhancements? Creating a society with genetic haves and have-nots? And then there's AI. If machines become more intelligent than humans, who controls them? We've all seen science fiction movies like the Terminator franchise, where machines rise against their creators. While such scenarios may seem far-fetched, they raise legitimate concerns. Even if Kurzweil's specific predictions don't happen exactly as he predicts, the overall trend to GNR convergence and exponential technological growth is undeniable and unstoppable. How we deal with these technologies today will determine whether they lead us to a utopian or a dystopian tomorrow. Kurzweil is notably optimistic. He believes that as technology advances, so will our ethics and compassion. He views the singularity not just as a technological leap, but as a spiritual transformation. In his view, humanity will transcend the limitations of our biological bodies and brains. We will become more than human, using technology to achieve a higher state of existence. But this vision of the future doesn't sit well with everyone. If we can alter our bodies and minds at will, or upload our consciousness to a computer, what does it mean to be human? Are we still us, if we're more machine than flesh? These are profound questions that humanity must grapple with in the coming decades. So where does that leave us? The singularity, if it happens, won't just be a moment that happens to us. It will be a future that we actively create, one innovation and decision at a time. Whether it leads to a world of abundance and enhanced potential, or to one filled with new inequalities and threats, depends on the choices we make today. The singularity is near, but it's not here yet. We're still in the early stages of the journey. As GNR continues to advance, we'll see incremental breakthroughs that slowly shape our everyday lives. The mind-blowing pace of technological evolution suggests that the singularity could arrive sooner than many expect. But it won't be an overnight event. It will happen in phases. Some will recognize. Others will take us by surprise. Talking about phases, the development of AI follows seven distinct stages. Want to know more about this? Then check out this video. And until next time,